Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. We continue to follow a developing story out of Floyd County. Police are still on the scene in Garrett where a teenager was hit by a train. It happened earlier this afternoon near Maddie's Pizza Palace. WIMT's Tanner Hesterberg talked to a woman who tried to help the boy. He's on the phone now live with more. Tanner? Well, that's right, Steve. We're beginning to learn new information in regards to this incident. We know it happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon. We're in the Garrett or Hueysville community here off 550 in Floyd County. Uh, we know it was a CSX train traveling east, and the 14-year-old boy was walking west, so the train hit him head on. We're told the conductor did not have very much time to react. He tried blowing the train's whistle to alert the boy to get out of the way, but at that point, the train was just too close and it was too late. Uh, this particular train, uh, we're told, is equipped with video surveillance. Now, we have not seen the video of the incident, but police did have a look at it, and they told us it appears that the boy was wearing headphones and looking down at some sort of electronic device when he got hit. So, uh, Steve, it's very possible this boy was listening to music or, or something else through his headphones and, and just didn't hear the train coming. Uh, obviously, several uh, people in the area uh, walked down to the scene to see what was happening. I spoke to one woman who was a witness. She was in the area uh, when this happened, and she tried to help. Listen to what she said. Amanda, just describe for me again what the scene looked like. When I walked down to it, I saw they, they got him up on a gurney. Um, he was not conscious, but the EMTs kept on hollering his name. And he raised up. I saw him have some life in him. There was a lot of blood. His face was tore up pretty bad. And we, again, have confirmed uh, that the boy was taken to the hospital at St. Joseph's and Martin. Police are not releasing his name at this point. They do say his family has been notified. And they describe his injuries as very serious. And police say it's safe to say that uh, this young boy is fighting for his life at this moment. We hope to have much more information coming up tonight on Mountain News at 11. And something I can confirm, uh, investigators from CSX who are still on the scene, they just moved the train. It's the first time the train has moved since it stopped after the incident happened. So the train has moved, and we hope to have more information for you uh, coming up a little later on, Steve. All right. Tough story to report on, Tanner. Thank you very much. Well, police